honeysuckle jelly. You've got your white honeysuckles, and then you've got your yellowy, oingy honeysuckles. You don't want the whites. Um, you're supposed to use the yellow ones here. So you just pluck it off, and then if there's a green tip on the end, you just pinch that off, and then you but you leave the stamen in place. That would be the little string right here. Evie, pull that out a little bit for mommy. That's where, yeah, right there. See her doing it? That's your stamen. You leave that in. That's where your little fluidy Honey. pieces are. Honey. And for this, you need at least six to seven cups. But you got to make sure you pinch off the little green tips if you can see it here. Because of, yes, perfect, baby. But you got to leave that stamen in. She ain't leaving it because she's eating it. Um, that way it helps to release everything. But, yeah, so I have up here some more. They're starting to seem like they're drying up a little, but we're going to pick them. Oh, I dumped it out of the jar. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. I'll get that part later. Yeah, so four cups of the honeysuckle tea from where they steeped overnight. And there you go. Perfect. And now that will go to a boil. Okay, this is the tea. It's on the boil. Once it boils, we'll add one pack of powdered pectin, which is this here. It's a sure gel. It's a thickener because, you know, we're using a floral instead of like a fruit that has natural sugars in it. So you have to use the pectin on it. So we'll use one pack of this and a third a cup of lemon juice, but not till this starts boiling. And then we've got jars in the oven on 200. That way they're hot because it's a hot jelly going into a hot jar going into a hot water bath canner. And that burnt my finger. <laughs> now the oven's on 200 to heat the jars. It's just at a low temp. So everything's good to go there. All right, while we're waiting on it to um, come to the boil before you add everything, just do four and a half cups of sugar. Um, it's just regular old granulated. Easily you're done with your right. Hold on. All right. Or when you get an extra set of hands. That makes it even easier. Two and a piece of sh three and then another half and then we'll have that and when we um, go to add it we'll be ready to go put the pectin in there now we got a third a cup of lemon juice and now we stir it and it will boil for one minute before we add in the four and a half cups of already measured sugar this is needs to cook one minute separate before you add sugar so you don't kill your pectin. Otherwise, the pectin doesn't do its thickening job. So, one minute now. Constant stirring. Okay, time is up. It's been boiling one minute. Adding in the four and a half cups of sugar. And now, once this is all added, you have to let it get to 220 degrees, which is the set for jelly. Um... I don't know why we didn't do that with the other florals. It's just that the directions on this one told us 220. So 220 it is. Okay, so sugar's all dissolved. So now it's got to wait for it to start boiling and then hit 220. This part is boring. <laughs> Time consuming, but here we go. Okay, you can see we've got a good, steady, frothy boil going here. If it does get too foamy, a little, hear that ping back there? That's one of the blast batches pinging. If it does get a little bit too foamy, just put a little smidge of butter in there and that helps control the foam level. It's not really on the directions, but that is a helpful hint if you all want that. But yep, yeah, so now we just gotta wait for it to hit 220 degrees on a candy thermometer. Okay, so we are at like 212, 214-ish, so we're getting there. This has literally been forever. Like oh yeah, we're close. We're like at 218 ish. Y'all can't see it on this, but we're so close. We're gonna call it. Call it. 218. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, yeah, we're close. Okay. So pop it off the heat. We'll get the jars out of the oven. Start filling jars. Where we leave a half an inch of head space. We'll go over that in a minute. You can see she's getting the hot jar out the hot oven to put this very hot jelly into. Yeah, I'm so we got our funnel that fits right down in the jar here. Ladle it. And 
and then let me show you the headspace thing. Okay, so for headspace, you'll see this line right here. This is the top line for the where the bands screw on there. So you just follow it around. That's like a quarter inch of headspace there. So just turn it, turn it, turn it. When you get halfway through, you know you're like a you know quarter inch. Keep going down around. That's like an eighth inch, whatever. Um, anyhow, half inch head space, so it'd be halfway through it. Down here to the bottom is about a one inch head space. So we need to keep between a quarter and a half inch. So we'll fill it up to about this middle line right here. And then that is your head space that's required. You need that because you have to have the air in there that helps to pull the air out when the jar is sealing. And then that allows the jar to seal, if that makes sense. Okay, so we're ladling it in. And... You can see Crystal in the back back air. She is wiping. It is very important to wipe your rims. And if you've got a sticky substance like jelly, I highly recommend you wet your cloth to do that with. That way, it, if it's not clean, it will not seal. You need a very clean rim to place your lids and bands so that you will get a good seal. She just put the flat on there, which is... You know, your lid also, and then she's putting the band on there, finger tight, just right. And then it will go into the canner for a five minute water bath. But for now, we're going to finish filling up these jars. Okay. And you can see there is a good closest to half inch head space, a little bit over, but it's all good. Good, finger tight, just right again, and then they go into the canner. And she's burning herself because it's at least 220 degrees. <laughs> For the camera. This here is your jar lifter. As you can see, it's got plastic grippy hand plastic handles here. They're not overly grippy. Um, you got this round thing here. It will go and you just pick up your jar like so. Let me see, like this. This holds on to it there. And then you escort it to the canner, put it down inside. And it releases. Pick it up the same exact way when you're done. So that's how you work your jar lifter. Don't use it by this black part. It rolls. It's plastic. It don't grip. And like I said, it rolls. So these all come in here. And then that will be a water bath for five or so minutes at the full rolling boil. Make sure the jars have water completely over them. As you can see, we do. So as soon as they're loaded, we'll set the timer and then we'll remove them when it's done. Now we got the remnants of the pan in here, and so with that, we gave a little sample. Um, it's not like it smells honeysuckle-y, but it don't taste like we're eating honeysuckles. And the famous words of Leland taste like jelly. Um, <laughs> it's it's kind of similar to our dandelion, I think. Mm -hmm. um, it's a light taste. It's not overbearing, but it's good. But, yeah, it tastes like jelly. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you think? What's it taste like? Logan's What's wrong, Logan? You're like a banana. <laughs> I don't even know where you got that from, you goofball. <laughs> banana with sugar. What do you think, Evie? Good. Is it good? You're, that's your third helping of it. Must be good. Kid approved. It's a real pale yellow when it's out, but when it's in the jar, it's dark. All right, five minutes are up, so let's get in here and get these jars out. Again, like I showed you with the lifter. Bring it over, and look how dark it is in here when you sit it down. Didn't look that way on my finger, but... Oh, it'd be easier if I could get a hold of it. These little jars fit right down in there real snug like. Okay. Now when you sit them out, leave space in between all the jars so you got adequate cooling space. All that there good stuff and they'll start popping and sealing. But otherwise, this is it. It's what there is to dandelion jelly.